Might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do. No matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you want it, man? You can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room. Like fire, everything I touch, I consume. I'm getting up while y'all just snooze. While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. In me, I trust. Yeah, I smell like success. This Elon Musk, huh? Everybody wanna be like us. We don't stop, cause the top just ain't enough, huh? I ain't never get it. I ain't scamming, you know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night, you better just run for your life. You come and see what it's like Living by the rules that you write You ain't not those lavish delights Now you ain't no back in the sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight You gon' want a dog be nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite I'm a little breed, just a little Give it to you strong, heavy metal I don't make a sound when I strike you better just Rounding out the action in Class D with three seated Argyle in the two seed. North Warren, winner gets top seated Northville. Brad Goodman for Argyle, and also Derek Tyrell. Here we go, let's play some basketball at the cool and Turing Arena. The D semifinals underway. The winner gets Northville in the championship game on Saturday. As they distribute the ball around Hopper. That's over the right inside. Losing control for just a second, but gets it back. That's a nice move. For three, beautiful Hopper with outside, trying to create some space. North Warren trying to move around, back outside. Now dancing in, Coiler, and now gives it a beautiful feed to Tyrell. Can't get that to fall inside. Foul and one. Tyrell. The horn. And here goes Spoiler. Oh, nice dish inside. The round. Tyrell to the right. Here's Evans. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely brutal. That's a 12 0 run. Argyle trying to get something from Ingram at the buzzer, and it rolls away. Back after this for the fourth quarter on the end. Going up the court, and at this point, might as well just stop and let this clock drain. Enjoy every second of this possession. 15 seconds to go, and in the D Championship coming up here, it's going to be 
North Warren and Northville played on Saturday. As North Warren wins this game 61 to 38. The handshake's coming up here. out the action in Class D, two seed North Warren facing off against the one seed Northville Falcons. Team and five, and here we go. Northville at the outset, controlling the tip. Inside, Samuelitis, no good. Frank there to clean up. With a good chance as we head through tonight. Oh, here. Nice turnaround move, switching the ball from left hand. Good read by him on that pass by Frank. Oh, here drives into the lane for two. Evans. Mitchell there, back the other way. Frank over the top, Samuelitis, who takes it out of the hands of Brooke. Trying to the screen with Tyrell, does so, clears the space. The turnover, quick push up the Collier. What about taking a three? Against Artakuski, creates space. Run up space. Frank drives the lane, strong. They're going to call him for the charge. Frank's disbelief, but absolutely the right call with him going in strong. Ten on the shot clock. Frank gets it. But it goes into the hands of Collier. Collier for three! Collier now with at least 11 as Frank goes the other way quickly for two. Frank now. Great crowd. Nice electricity from a Class D contingency from both sides. Collier for three again! Back to back for Collier, the seventh grader. The lead is five. Kuski tries to go for the steal on Evans. And Evans will now shoot for North Warren. This is on the one-on-one, -on -one, but it's put back in by... Going to be a bad taste in the mouths for the Falcons, having lost to OESJ in this arena in this game last year. But again, another successful season for the Falcons and head coach John Karbowski. The Cougars... They last won the section to the Class D title in 2020. They never got a chance to play because a few days later, everything got shut down because of the pandemic. Guess what? Time to circle back and pick things up and go have some fun. Tyler, I mean, this, three years ago you guys won this. You didn't get a chance to go to regionals. Is this a little bit more special this time around? That's why it is more special because uh, I was actually I shared the tear uh, because we didn't get a chance to finish that um, that run. So I wanted to make sure that I enjoyed this moment because we didn't get to enjoy that moment. Uh, you know the, the circumstances that happened, but right. this was this was very special. Right. And winning on your birthday again, right? On oh, my birthday, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Well, happy birthday. Thank you. All right. Um, what did it take for these guys to win this uh, this championship this year? Man, it, oh. it, it took us coming together, um, just playing um, playing together, playing for one another on both sides, offensively and defensively. Um, once we started figuring that out late in the season, we started winning games, started winning. And then uh, I've been talking about how this game kind of unfolded for you guys. 
yeah. It was, it was tight it, at the beginning. Yeah, so. yeah. We, I think both teams came in jittery. Uh, both teams was nervous. Uh, big court. Um, we was able to settle in more late third, fourth quarter. We was able to start scoring more, which we do a lot, but we have three. I just wanted to not take this uh, moment for granted, so I just wanted to soak it in. And From the last time you guys played. It feels great. I mean, obviously, I didn't get to play much, and now it feels amazing, like being a huge part of it. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, man. This week's practice was just so good. It was like on another level. Everyone was focused, determined, ready for everything. It was just a really good week of practice and a great week of like, We did so good over the summer working hard, all those morning workouts, night workouts. Uh, I think we were just really fueled by being the second seed. I mean, a few of us took that a little personally, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we thought we had to prove that run that we should have been number one. Right. Good. And after playing a couple times here a couple of years, you start to feel comfortable and really get into it. So at the start, we were feeling comfortable. They made a run, a couple runs here in the second and the third. So we came back, came adversity, and just played really well. We got the win. Definitely. And then how about the game? I mean, how did it kind of unfold for you guys today? Uh, I think defense really won it for us. You know what I'm saying? Just had to buckle down and stop them from scoring. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a pretty tough team there, but, uh, you know, physical and everything. How would you guys uh, kind of handle the physical nature of the game? Uh, I think we just – defense still, we just we just buckled down and we tried to match it, match with them. How do you feel your son Samaj getting, getting MVP, I mean, as a seventh grader? Yeah, so. yeah, that's, uh, he, that's a testament to his um, hard work. Um, he's been working out since he was three, four years old wow. with, with me. Uh, yeah! Class D action, Section 2 North Warren Central Cougars against the Section 7 Scroon Lake Wildcats. This is regional play. Heading on to the state semifinals. Whoever wins this one will be meeting up with the winner of Chapel Field Christian or against South Courtright Central, the North Warren Cougars. And the rebound three will be his first team foul. 
Hartwell for three, and it's in. The shot that time, nothing but net for Carter Hart. Spin. Sit out to so Hartwell. Back in 2020, he's, he was selected as Mountain Valley Athletic Conference MVP in 2023 this year. Wildcats ball on the baseline. Hart, Hart's gonna go for three. He drains it. Wildcats take a five-point lead. Answered right back. Hopper to Kyler. Kyler kicks it out to Hopper. Hopper. The three for Evan. Balls moving quickly. Off the glass. Stuck. Carter Hart loses the ball. Turnover, easy basket for the Cougars. Tyler. It drops in. Regressions to know my conditions is based off experience. Don't down the court, come. Karma for karma, my habits insensitive. Watching my cousin struggle with addiction, then watching her Belky, first born all the way. Don't take it. Off the grid for forgiveness. I'm sacrificing myself Belky to stop takes advantage of it, takes it inside. Four two. Isaiah Belky. Right back down comes Kyler. The Wildcats. Both teams playing very well. When there's no one to call. <laughs> and the basket is good. Sean by Hart. Hart. No gun off the bottom of the backboard. He'll step to the, and he'll drain the three as he steps out. Takes a three-point lead. Moore, Kyler. To Evans. Evans for three. It's a tie game. Pelkey with the ball. Down the other end. People get taken over, over to Hartwell. Because this oh, me, that was Hart. That's Hartwell. Hartwell for three. The ones with the threes. Hartwell with six threes. Hart with four threes. Answered right back by Horge. He's got a three. Terrell decides not to take the shot. Send it to Horge. Evans, Horge, he takes it. He, Evans, over to Horge. Over to Kyler. Back to Horge. Horge takes it and drains it. And 15 left in the game. Horge. Right there, it is Evans for two. Pelkey. Personal fouls against him. Just 40 seconds left. Need to put something together. Great defense by the Cougars. Pelkey for three. He drains it. Let's see if he can get it out to Hartwell. Hartwell, Pelkey, seven, six. It's turned over. This could be it. Terrell. No, that's Kyler. And Kyler at the buzzer scores the winning basket. 64-49. Spoon Lake unable to defeat the Cougars from North Warren in this re Three years ago, we did we we were supposed to play the same team. Uh, we had Anthony Gerard, Tanner, Tanner Dunkley, and a bunch of other other guys. And uh, as you know, COVID hit. So um, it was special to play this game. These guys put the work in this summer, and, and it start, it's showing now, showing. We're going to enjoy this one tonight and get back to work on Monday. Oh. Look what I found. Find his keepers.
Moving over to Class D, North Warren matched up with Section 9's Chapelfield Christian. Grader number one, Samaj Kyler. Senior number three, Zach Hopper. Senior number five, Sean Evans. Junior number 21, Derek Tyrell. And senior number 33, Cooper Morehouse. North Warren is coached by James Kyler, assisted by Colby May. Coach, should be in for a good matchup today. The local North Warren Cougars and the Chapelfield Lions. Good one here in Class D and a good crowd. Rebound, still fighting for it. Now back the other direction again. Nice pass inside, up and in. And our first points of the game go to the, the other side. Evans for three is no good. And rebound right back again to Evans. And a little floater in the lane. But back to McDuffie again. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Spin around the defense, cutting into the lane. Little floater up and in. Horge to Hopper. Back up on top again to Horge. Horge around to Hopper. Hopper for three. It's good. Big three pointer right there for North. He's, he is filling it up on both ends right now with his effort. There's a steal back the other way and a layup. And it was a 4-0 run that way. Monacara. Survey. It's a Schwartz. For three is good. Monacara. Schwartz. Here's a three. On oh, one. And one. How about that? Monacara hammers home. Guys to the glass there for Chapel Field. Tie and take the lead in this position. They get the lead. Another Swart. another fantastic shot by Swart. And right back down the court, Sean Evans answers. Oh, we've got all of a sudden a shooting clip. Monacura has it intercepted. Kyler will go right to the basket and lays it up and in. At the horn, giving North Warren a four-point lead. Coach, pretty wasn't in a good position to do that. There you go, just straight up. And Evans, right in and scoring. Smith there by, by Jonah. Hopper gets it in. Do this at the basket. Up and in. And back out there. There's a long three, no good for Evans. And up and in. And North Warren has possession as Evans got it to the basket, no good. Rebound right, right back to him, Evans. Evans will go to the basket and put it up and in, and it's a one point game. Yeah. Lost that one. Lost that one on the inbounds, yeah. and then back in an offensive foul called against Chapel Field. That might be fine. Is that, is that on? No, that was on Swart. Back up around to Horge. Tyrell trying to get in. Back up to Horge again. Horge for three, oh good. And North Warren has gone back in front oh by two. My. Wow. Picks up the other way come the Cougars. And it's up and in oh as Sean Evans puts it in. Smart again for three, it's just short, no good. Rebound to North Warren, quickly out of transition. They have a layup here, it's up and good for Sean Evans. Just over the top and puts it in. His teammate recognized that movement and delivered a dime for the easy bucket. Timeout, Chapel Field, a full timeout with 3.52 to go in the fourth quarter. Back in a moment. There's a little shot from the foul line. It's up and good, big basket right there. Here's a three ball, it's no good. Long there by Forge. And there's a stop that they needed here, approaching two minutes. Now a three, lined up and good! Smart with a big time. Got a good shot. Smart. Duffy, good offense. Lay up and in! What a best one. North Warren with the lead and the ball off the timeout. It's the ball in. Trying to get up is Morehouse. Oh. Can't do it, he puts it up and in the second opportunity. It's a three point game. Well, he stayed with it. 
Chapel Field three is no good. Rebound to Morehouse. It's it back quickly. Gun out. And a turnover by North Warren. Uh, what hustle bummer. One. North Warren with the lead. Chapel Field with the ball. Down by one. They can play this down towards the end of the shot clock. Let's see what they try to do here. Balls out to McDuffie. McDuffie swings it. Back up out top. Take it by Bonagura. Trying to fight through the double team. Bonagura kicks it. Corner. Fighting through. Up. Rolls around and in. Chapel Field takes the lead with 10 seconds. And a timeout for North Warren. With 10 seconds, Chapel Field is taking the lead, 47-46. And North Warren calls timeouts. You know, keep the players in front of you as best you can. Don't foul. And just, you know, play smart. And when that shot goes up, make sure you go and get that rebound. Here we go. Evans to inbound for North Warren. Evans, long pass. Going to go long. It goes out of bounds and a turnover that one long. I don't think that was his first option there. He was trying to go the other way. They had it well defended four seconds. It was, it was 8 2. Oh, okay. And they got it over the court and a foul right away. My bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, there was 8 2. Then got it over timeout. Okay. My bad. So, Chapel Field is going to go to the line now and shoot one of one. Leading. They get it in. They're going to have a chance here. Kyler for the win. No good. And Chapel Field is going to the championship game. What an ending. What a game. What a game is right. Both of these teams had their moments. Both of these teams had their opportunities. Both of these teams emptied it on the floor in terms of effort from start to finish. This is the highest level I've seen all weekend, and these guys really put on a show. Congrats to Chapel Ring Arena tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We face the uh, uh, winner of our next game. And, uh, that game will be played here in our Class D championship game coming up tomorrow. Again, a final score, Chapel Field 47 and North Warren 46. For Doug Trigo, I'm Sam Schreier. Uh, a couple bad turnovers, a couple uh, missed opportunities. That's what happened in the championship games like this. You have to capitalize, and if you don't, you leave room for the other team to um, capitalize. They had a hell of a season. They played hard. They have nothing to hold their head about. Hopefully the juniors, the sophomores, and uh, seventh graders learn from these mistakes and um, be ready next.